are actually heading over to our buddy's ba or excuse me, our buddy Bailey's house. Uh, Chris is going to be meeting me over there. Um, if you guys uh, follow up on the Instagram, you'll know uh, that a couple days ago he called us up, had a small issue with his truck, and uh, we went and checked it out for him. And come to find out, uh, we hooked up our edge monitor to it, and it seemed like it was having uh, injector number two. Uh, fault codes that it was giving us you know some shortage so we went ahead uh, came back the next couple days tested that injector tested fine okay so that kind of narrowed it down to some wiring so since we were already there we went ahead and just and tested all the injectors at the plug uh, we didn't pull the valve covers off so come to find out all the injectors tested perfectly um, off the volt ohm meter and so we started digging in the wiring a little bit more and come to find out we found a couple pretty dry rotted wires uh, heading to the injector number two wiring harness so uh, we got them kind of straightened out enough to drive the truck so once we did that we took the truck excuse me truck for a test drive truck drove great just fine um, did a good burnout and pretty much we got back to the shop all the gauges were fine uh, fuel rail pressure was great uh, we uh, then tested the injector balance rates just off of our monitor. Everything was sitting perfect. I mean, better than, you know, what you would expect out of a 250,000 mile truck. Uh, but they were they were flawless. So I had him uh, stick in the truck while I went around and I shook each uh, injector wiring harness. And as we expected, uh, injector number two wiring harness, give it a shake. Uh, and it pretty much threw the truck into a mess again. So uh, we narrowed it down to that wiring harness. Um, and we are going to go ahead and just uh, hardwire the plug uh, it's not a big deal instead of buying a new harness or a new plug it's just a work truck to him so we're going to go ahead and wire that bad boy in and get this truck on the road it does need some transmission work uh so he will be uh he'll be hitting us up uh here in the near future and we will be helping him out with that but until then guys let's just uh, hop into getting this thing fixed up all right guys so here it is um lb7 2002 Got the air filter off right now but it's honestly a very healthy truck um given the mileage somebody has definitely beat the, tra the transmission pretty hard um the previous owner didn't really give our buddy much information on the truck i don't know if he's trying to hide something or just legitimately couldn't figure out what the problem was i'm um, lucky we got it narrowed down for him but definitely has some training issues uh we'll show you a little later once we get this bad boy fixed and uh take it for a test drive and we'll go from there guys but i just wanted to show you I don't know if, if you guys are familiar with an LB7. Um, there's there's four in, four injector harnesses. There's one here, two or number two would be there, number three would be there, and number four would be there. You know, four plugs, uh, and each plug runs two injectors uh, under the valve cover. So this is actually the wires that we have found some issues with. I know I don't have perfect light for you guys, but as you can see right there, there's a bit of corrosion and some dry rot. Um, you give these wires a wiggle while the truck's running and it just it throws it all around so this is what we're going to be fixing we're going to just run some new wires right between uh do away with this plug and get this thing running healthy for him so let's get into it all right y'all gilligan's here just kidding but uh i already messed with it showing chris so you guys won't see it running flawless until we fix it once me and chris fix this bad boy you guys will tell but i got some better light here so you might be able to see yeah, you can't. But anyway, wires are junk. But I'm going to start the truck up for you guys just to hear how it's running and what it's doing right now. And then, you know, if you guys are familiar with an LB7, you'll know obviously how it's supposed to run. But uh, either way, we'll get it fixed. You guys will see then. So pretty much pretty hard starting. Not too bad, though. So. You can tell it's missing pretty good. And this, this is, uh, this is, the panel right to the ground here. So, as y'all can tell, pretty stinking laggy, and we've definitely got an injector issue. So, we're gonna fix this plug and we'll be back with you guys.
right, you guys, get everything put back together. I just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, like I mentioned, we didn't worry about buying a plug, just a work truck. So we just uh, spliced right into the harnessing, hardwired the thing. Um, the only thing we got left to do is throw some coolant in it. Uh, but before I do that, I want to fire it up and make sure this thing's good to go. So yeah, let's do that. Give it full throttle. Oh yeah. Oh, and this thing's got a fancy lope tune. That's sick. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get this thing filled up with coolant. We're gonna hit the road with this thing. Bro, that's fucking sweet. See how this thing runs now. A couple days after this video we uh, got Bailey's truck fixed up but I just wanted to throw in uh, at the end here uh, we're gonna be having an update video of Chris's truck real real soon um, subject to change maybe but we do have a trip possibly coming up this weekend to go get some new parts uh, for Chris's truck we're waiting on a few things to button it up a lot has showed up a lot has been done um, but pretty much I just kind of want to throw an update in there for you guys so you guys knew what was going on with his truck uh, a couple parts we've ordered for Zeus, little things, uh, but much more update videos to come. But hope you guys enjoyed fixing that LB7. He does have a couple more small jobs on that truck for us to be doing for him. So that'll be coming up uh, real soon. So we'll, uh, we'll get some footage of that. Uh, also, one more thing. We are in the works of buying uh, a round check race car. We were wanting to wait until next year, which not for sure that we will get it this year or if we might get it soon and uh, get some practice in it and do some different things to it and get it ready for race season next year uh, again subject to change a lot's going on right now uh, but i just wanted to throw that update in there for you guys and uh yeah main thing is update video coming with chris's truck real soon so we'll see you guys later don't forget to subscribe like comment share appreciate all the support again guys Go